Okay, everybody. Back for an update. The back of the bus is still a wreck, but it's where all the storage is right now at the moment. But we've been working this weekend, I guess you could say it's a weekend. Yeah. Um, got the closet ready, except we're going to put a top on it and then trim the face and stuff. Got the skin in here. Skin in here. Went and bought some pine shavings today. This is going to be the box where that'll be. Got all this skinned in and ready for the toilet, which Sony showed you the other day. And there's a few little scraps on the floor. We got the, here's the ottomans pulled out. Sony resting as an example. Those are the nice lids that are on there and uh, plenty of storage. Nice. Yeah. Definitely really pretty color. Good, good amount of storage under there. Blankets, pillows, whatever ends up going in there. But that's cool. And uh, got the little dresser in. Looking nice. Got its legs cut off of it. Nice little colors that were already on there but uh, the crown jewel I would say of the day and I'm gonna step down this way to show them because I realized a second ago Sony mm -hmm. that oh and then Sony's little temporary LEDs got going on in here very nice good product on sale right now at Home Depot you get like six Six, six or eight of them for 15 bucks. Yeah. But the main project of the day is the ceiling. The ceiling is complete now in this area. And it is, like everything else so far, amazing. Uh, she had got these different types of ribbons. We do, we are going to put something along the very front right there but we may end up having to hide some wire in there first so and then we're going to be putting leds down this way but yeah sony got these different colored ribbons on a great deal at hobby lobby and just kind of did a few different types down through here and we were short one run through this way but it just looks so cool and we got this lattice from uh, Home Depot to make our strips like furring strips if you will or finished strips but man it just turned out really cool I love it what a great idea got to do a little bit of hot glue in a couple of areas here just to stick it in finish it out but wow amazing good idea I just sang on the YouTube oh my goodness and then we went ahead and cut out the uh, emergency. emergency exit and we struggled while we were cutting the extra canvas off the edges we tried scissors tried a razor knife and I was like you know what I had this pocket knife that belonged to my granddad that he left to me and he was a master sharpener and this knife has four blades and all of those blades are sharper than any knife that I've ever had other than this one. And so we started to cut out that emergency exit and I pulled that pocket knife out. And man, what a difference. I mean, just ripped right through that canvas like butter. Thanks, Granddad. So, thanks to you, Granddad. Like I told Sony, I said, well, that blade will never be the same again now that it's cut that canvas. It'll, it'll never be able to be sharpened by granddad, but that's okay. It was put to good use, and I know he would have loved it if he was here to see it. So, so yeah, there's a the ceiling. There's the dresser, the ottomans, the sofa bed. There's Sony. Very tired. Of course, our floor. Everything coming together living area is pretty well done except a little bit of trim 
on the driver's side and putting in the LEDs and the outlets, the electrical and the plumbing. But most of all, the woodwork and design is done. So very excited. Very good day. I, I know I don't sound real excited, but I think it's because I'm very tired and I still got to go pack to leave for Florida in the morning. So a little bit worn out, but very excited. Very pumped about the ceiling and about the little dresser. It had some kind of little worms or carpenter ants or something chewing on it. We treated it three or four times and let it sit out and dry and hopefully it's going to be okay. But we're just going to keep an eye on it. We haven't screwed it down to the floor yet. So we're going to keep an eye on that. But, but yeah, there's an update. Uh, living room, kitchen area is very close to being done very close and we're very very thrilled that it is so and we got a good start on the bathroom too mm -hmm. now it's about time to start in on the utilities and work our way back to the back of the bus and i think there's not a whole lot of space right here i think it's going to work out exactly like i wanted it to i'm going to put the electrical panel right here because the battery box is directly below that so that way, you know, if we get the solar hooked up, we can put the uh, charge controller. We're going to build a cabinet right here, put the electrical panel and charge controller and right in here in this area and then drop all of our wires down and then figure out how to run what I need to run to the back of the bus. So it's going to be cool. All right, well, about to go, about to run out of video time on my phone i gotta dump a bunch of this videos off here but uh check back for updates thanks for watching